What is up, Tron community? Earlier this week, the Tron DAO Reserve announced that the USDD stablecoin will now be over collateralized. And simply what that means is the value of USDD, they have more than that in asset to actually back the stablecoin. And that now puts it in a category of DAI. And DAI is one of the longest running stablecoins in existence. It is also the fourth largest under Tether, USDC and the Binance BUSD, then it goes DAI. And so what this means is DAI currently is guaranteed to be 120% over collateralized, which means they're going to always have 20% more than the actual value in assets to back that stable coin. USDD will be guaranteed at 130%, but at the time of this video, they're actually over collateralized over two hundred percent which means they have more than double the value that they need to actually back the usdd stablecoin and so we're going to be diving into the details of this and also the new tron dow reserve website that shows what assets they're using to back the stablecoin and how much they have as well but before we jump into that shout out to one of the partners on the channel which is crypto.com, which is one of the fastest growing crypto exchanges in the space today with over 250 plus cryptocurrencies. Now, hopefully they do allow Tron to be on this list here real soon. And you can also earn rewards on your crypto as well as your stable coins. In other words, passive income. And if you're into getting crypto back on your everyday purchases, check out their metal Visa debit cards where you can get anywhere from 1% up to 5% back in Crow rewards. Now, last but not least, if you're into NFTs, check out the NFT marketplace where they have quite a few different brands and collections that you could be a part of. All right, so there will be a link down in the description below where you can sign up with the promo code Mike if you do want to check out crypto.com. But now let's dive into the upgraded USDD stablecoin now being over collateralized over 200% right after this. Welcome back to the channel Tron community. I'm Mike the Investor and this press release came out June 5th and as you can see by the headline USDD upgrades into the first over collateralized decentralized stablecoin. Now currently collateralized at over 200% with a guaranteed minimum collateral ratio of 130% which is what I was touching on at the very beginning of this video. Now let's go ahead and move down to the high lighted parts I got here for us. So with a total circulation supply of nearly 700 million for the USDD stablecoin, which means the market cap is nearly 700 million, you can see the Tron based USDD has recently upgraded itself to the first over collateralized decentralized stablecoin, also known as OCDS offering faster transactions with the highest collateral ratio around the globe. And I'm going to show you uh, also some comparisons as well compared to DAI as well as USDD when we look at the website. And so as one of the most secure decentralized stablecoins, USDD enjoys a guaranteed collateral ratio of at least 130% higher than the 120% set by DAI, which is considered a paragon of the industry. So the press release goes on to say, while allowing the Tron DAI Reserve members to continue minting USDD by burning TRX, which is the new burning mechanism for USDD, it says the upgrade consolidates USDD stability and credibility by over collateralizing assets under the Tron DAI Reserve also known as TDR. Now, these reserve assets will include Bitcoin, TRX, and multiple stablecoins like USDC, USDT, TUSD, and USDJ at a ratio of 130% to back the issuance of USDD. So in other words, every USDD is supported by at least $1.30 worth of Bitcoin, TRX, stable coins, and potentially other highly liquid assets. So this is just really breaking down how they're able to do this and what they actually have. And so the last few parts here talks about the Tron Dow Reserve is currently holding 10,500 Bitcoin, 240 million in USDT Tether, 1.9 billion in TRX in the reserve account on top of 8.29 billion TRX already in the burning contract. And so in real time, 
the collateral ratio is now over 200%, a total of 1.37 billion assets backing 667 million USDD in circulation. And it's also actually higher than this. It's around 1.5 billion. I'm going to show you that here in a second. And we can see by the statement here to power the over collateralized of USDD, the Tron Dow Reserve has greatly increased its reserve, including highly liquid Bitcoin, TRX, USDT Tether to back USDD total supply. And this upgrade has strengthened USDD, adding an extra layer of security to the token stability and risk tolerance in a way similar to how maker powers die and real quick if you look at DeFi llama total stablecoin market cap 160 billion you can see Dai is the fourth largest with around 6.44 billion now if we head over to the tron dow reserve which is tdr.org you can see right here is the total amount of circulating supply of the usdd 667.5 million and you can see this is how much they have collateralized for it and so you can see it is over 225 percent and i'm going to show you this here in a second so if we pull up the calculator let me show you how this works so this is going to be rough estimate so we got 667.5 million we're going to times that by 225 because we're going at the 225.37 percent i'm just going to do 225 percent times the percent here you can see 1.5 million so if we did the exact numbers that would give us about 1.504 and so just wanted to show you you can see that they have over 220 percent in assets to back this new usdd stablecoin and they're also giving us the full breakdown of transparency right here just shows us the uh, stablecoin uh, market cap on the blockchain of tron with the uh, course tether leading with 38.7 billion you got usdd 667 usdc second largest stable coin almost 2 billion at 1.9 billion true usd at 379 million and then you have the just stable coin 265 million now if we move down here you can see here's the risk free yield uh, guidance that you can actually stake these stable coins on the Tron network with Tether and USDD leading the AP, uh, APY with 30%. And as you move down, you can see here's the full transparency. Here's the total USDD supply, 667 million. And you can see they are over collateralized 225%. This is how much they have in the reserves, 837 million. This is how much is in the total TRX burnt contract. And so one thing that I mentioned uh, in a couple videos when I was talking about the USDD stablecoin, as long as this supply and market cap stays below the reserves and stays below the Tron um, market cap, I believe USDD will be fine. But specifically, it needs to stay under the reserve amount because the reserve is the one who was backing this stable coin. And so right now they are doing all of the right things to make sure that transparency is there for investors. And you can see how it updates in real time. And you can see this is how much they currently have when it comes to their reserves. Now, if you hit details, it's going to break it down a little bit more. You can also check it out on the actual blockchain as well. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you this is definitely something investors want to see. And if we move down to the collateralization uh, ratio comparison, you can see USDD is blowing everything out of the water right now. Of course, I don't think it's going to stay, you know, at this uh, ratio here, but it is guaranteed at 130 percent to be over collateralized, which is still the best in the game. So die 120 percent. USDT is just 100 true usd is just 100 and usdc is just 100 and so there you have it just wanted to break down the new press release coming from tron dow reserve regarding the new usdd stablecoin let me know what you think down in the comment section about this i do think this is a big move a huge positive as well not just for usdd but also for the tron ecosystem so if you're part of the tron community if you're part of the bittorrent community you know what to do put trx put btt down in the comment section and i will see you on the next one